Hi guys, it's Nirmal again from Nandanam Exotics and today we'll be seeing some exclusive or uh, awesome videos of in-action carnivorous plants. So friends, before we go further, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done it already. Also, click the bell notification button so that you'll be notified of my new videos when it comes out. So, let's get into the video then. So friends, I know that today's video is going to be a little bit lengthy, but bear with me, it's really worth it. Uh, the clips that I've got is really cool to see, it's slow motion insects coming and falling for the trap. So I hope you guys like the video. See? See this cute little plant? How many of you think that this is cute? Let's see the original face or the real cuteness of this plant. So friends, uh, today's video is not about how to grow a carnivorous plant or also me talking and rambling about uh, what a carnivorous plant is. Actually the purpose of today's video is to just show you guys how cool it is to grow a carnivorous plant. Uh, all these experiences that you go through when you take care of such awesome plants. For instance, just see the video that I'm showing you right now. Uh, a single picture of a plant has caught that many ants and most of them are still struggling to just get out of the picture. So this is the kind of visuals you are going to get when you grow these groups of plants. So as I said, uh, I won't be going in depth about each plant that I'm showing you in this video today. It is just a video to showcase some of the um, different methods that carnivorous plants employ uh, to catch their prey. For instance, currently right now you can see a mosquito stuck to one of my sundew and uh, the bug is really trying its best to uh, break free from the grip of the plant but obviously that's not something that is going to happen. We as gardeners grow a lot of plants in our garden. Some of them might give us flowers, some of them might give us beautiful leaves, some might give us food and there are some that even give us timber and other sorts of raw materials. But when you grow a carnivorous plants for instance, these kinds of visuals and the beauty and the adaptations they um, showcase, these are also intriguing and you feel so inspired from the way nature expresses itself in different forms. One of my most favorite thing to do in my own garden is to just simply glare at these sundews all day long, especially in the early mornings whenever I am lucky enough to wake up early. <clears throat> the morning sun gives the sundew an extra glare and a beautiful crystal-like feel. Uh, the dew drops just shine when the sun is up and it's a sight to behold. Hands down they are my favorite for sure. So the world of carnivorous plants is not limited to just one or two plant. Uh, most of us are familiar with the world uh, renowned Venus flytrap or a Nepenthes. But that is not just it. There are thousands of species and genus of plants that exhibit this feature of catching prey for nitrogen requirements. The video that I am showing you right now showcases Venus flytrap which is one of the most um, commonly known carnivorous plant in the world. Uh, even you might have studied about them in your primary classes. So carnivorous plants exist all over the world in different types of ecosystems and uh, climatic conditions. So they do exhibit a wide range of adaptations, requirements and methods of catching their prey. 
So as a grower who specializes in carnivorous plant, you have to be aware of the different requirements of all these groups and cultivate them in uh, accordance to their liking. So guys, uh, in the coming clip, uh, be sure to listen to the video carefully and let me know if you hear something interesting. So guys, I think you know what I was talking about when I told you to listen carefully. I hope you all heard the buzzing sound that was coming from the video. As you guys might have already guessed, it's a sound of despair. I'm sorry to say this, but uh, it sometimes really makes me sad to hear that sound. It's actually coming from the flapping wings of those insects that have been trapped by the pictures. You might take me for someone who's a sadist who enjoys the uh, struggles this poor little bugs are going through. But it's not at all like that. I'm interested in this group of plants just for their beauty and how adapted and how peculiar they are. I never catch bugs and feed it to my plants. I don't enjoy it at all. So usually I leave the plants to their own um, faculties and let them do their job usually i don't even have to catch or feed my plants because they are exposed to the outside world and they're catching food on their own plenty actually uh, so i never feed them um, purposefully i don't kill bugs just simply so that i can feed it to my plant uh, but I also keep myself away from their activity. I never go and free a bug that is already caught by a plant. Even though I keep this rule for myself, sometimes when my sympathies get the best of me, I used to take a forceps and free some bugs that I feel so pity for. I know I shouldn't do that, but <laughs> I can't help it. Sometimes it's really sad. In this case, that poor bug has gone so deep into the portions of the pictures that I don't think there is any way out for him. So carnivorous plants come in a wide range of sizes. Um, and as you can see, uh, a small sundew might only uh, be around one inch in dia while an appendix can actually grow from the base of a tree to the topest portion of the tree. Uh, so you can f find a large variation in size when it comes to different types of genus and species. There are even carnivorous plants in the world that can catch small rodents uh, like a small rat or something. Uh, the picture size is so huge that I can easily fall into the trap and the rodents might find it difficult to come back up. Most of these visuals that I'm showing you, you guys right now have been taken during the course of at least one month or so and uh, sad part is the bugs that I have debuted in this video were mostly found dead the next day when I visit the garden. If I were a little bit more patient and I lurked around and took videos more patiently, I might also catch them falling into the traps and I could have given you those videos as well. But uh, it takes up a lot of patience and time. So sorry guys, I can't do it that much. Maybe I'll set a camera next time and get a time lapse or something. So I grow my plants in Kerala, that is a state in India and the carnivorous plants seen in India is still not there yet. Uh, here gardening trends are changing a lot but still uh, the concept of growing carnivorous plants in your household has not caught on or is not still popular. Like in the west or in Australia and all, uh, people have exclusive gardens just for carnivorous plants but in India that is not the case. Still people has a uh, 
an image or they think that these group of plants are meant to be in the botanical garden where they are tended by scientists who are very well um, good at what they are doing and there is a stigma that these groups are very tough to grow so there is a little bit of fact to it because you have to be very uh, strict on certain rules on how to grow this plants but still it's not so impossible you can easily grow this plants i really wish that the indian gardening scene would catch up to growing carnivorous plants too in their garden i i cannot express how much um, the gardening world is missing out by not paying enough attention to this group of plants so one of my major aim is to just bring carnivorous plants in the limelight and um, show people how it is how much they're missing out how much they are like uh, not getting to experience a great diverse group of plants so for those of who who are interested to get to know more about this group of plants uh, stay tuned to my channel i'll be posting more videos uh, in depth about uh, different species and hybrids of carnivorous plants that i have personally grown and i'll also run down how you can take care of them and uh, special requirements of each genus or species uh, and overall we'll get to know carnivorous plants much more um, i'm not an expert in any way but i'll be just sharing what i know uh, hope you guys um, would like such content and sh be sure to let me know through the comment section or through my social media apps uh, what you like to see through the channel. Mm. As for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed the clips that I have been displaying. I know I was not talking entirely uh, what was shown or I was not talking entirely what I can relate to the video but I had to say certain things about the group of plans and i hope you guys were entertained carnivorous plants are extensively hybridized and new new cultivars are coming up each day as we speak um, the amount of plants that you can collect and grow is countless just like a hobby of growing orchids or cacti you can collect and grow countless amounts of cultivars and beautiful plants uh, in this gen uh, in this group these days carnivorous pl plants are finding their way into our houses through terrariums vivariums paludariums etc uh, displaying such an exotic and dramatic plant in such setups really elevate the overall appeal of such um, displays. You guys can check out a, a video I did on my carnivorous plant terrarium and let me know in the comments what you think about it. So those of who are new to carnivorous plants, uh, stay tuned to my channel because I'll be uh, putting out videos regarding the care, culture and we'll generally get to know more about these group of awesome plants. So stay tuned. So friends, hope you guys liked the video. I know it was really long, sorry for it, but I hope you guys had a good time watching it and it was entertaining enough. Uh, till next time, I'm, it's Nirmal signing off.